Hi, my name is Amber. Uh, this is my new channel, and uh, I thought I'd do a haul as my first video. We have some workout gear, some homeware, some books, and a few other little beauty pieces that I picked up. So let's just get into it. So the first thing I picked up is from the States when we went to visit my grandparents and family in Tennessee. We went to the Chattanooga Aquarium and my husband wanted to get me something in the gift shop. So he picked up these jewelry trays. Uh, we picked out four different ones and they're just absolutely beautiful. It it's, uh, looks like uh, crystals in the center. Um, I believe it's just broken glass, but it, they're still just beautiful. Um, there are four different ones. Here's the blue one. And they are all each handmade. And the fourth one is the burgundy color and it has more browns and tans in the center and white. If you uh, read my first blog post, uh, I've been working on this desk for a while and getting it set up and it's kind of my sanctuary to be at my desk and I'm a very crafty person. I love to create things and so um, this chair that I'm sitting in needs a makeover really bad and so I bought new fabric for it. It's very beautiful and I cannot wait to um, redo it. I do have to find new screws for the, the armrest uh, because I took it apart before I was ready to start the project. So that was a mistake on my part, but I'm sure I can find uh, new ones to uh, put the armrest back on. <laughs> the next thing I purchased is this beautiful fabric and I thought about putting it on the back of the chair. Um, I'm really not sure yet. I thought about doing just a throw or something like that over the back of the chair. But it's really gorgeous and I love the material. It's so soft. Um, I purchased it from Etsy and the other fabric also. Um, I'll leave a link down below if it's still available. And yeah, <laughs> it's just so soft and shiny. I'm really excited to uh, get this on there and post it up for you guys so you can see it also. The next thing I picked up, well, I didn't pick it up. My husband did. <laughs> for my anniversary in April, um, it was uh, this book, Big Magic. And I've been wanting to read it because I am a big uh, creative person. Uh, I love creating, painting, dancing. Um, I think if my life wasn't creative, I'd be a very sad person. Um, so, and the and the cover is very beautiful. And I have lots of books over there <laughs> that I need to get around to. So it might take me a little while to get around to this one. But I'm very excited. The next thing that my husband got me for our anniversary was uh, the snowball because he knew I was trying to get videos set up on my YouTube. He knew I've been struggling with the war inside me uh, to get my first video up. So uh, he got me the snowball to do voiceovers and stuff for my videos and I'm still learning how to do Final Cut Pro. And I've already got it up. It's in the corner over there. A little picture leaning against it. <laughs> the next thing I picked up was Me Before You. I did see this movie already, um, but I was hoping to read it before I went to see the movie. It didn't work out that way, but I'm still excited to read it. The next thing that I picked up was The Madman's daughter 
and I have not read the back of it. I know it's a YA book, young adult fiction, which I love to read. So I picked up this one when I saw it. I believe it was in a thrift store. And they're all in great quality, the ones that I picked up. So yeah, I couldn't really pass on that. If I don't end up liking it, then I can always, you know, give it to someone that might enjoy it better than I would. Okay. The next thing that I picked up was the Labyrinth. Or Labyrinth. It's just like three secrets, two women. One grail. So I assume it's uh, Egyptian, Holy Grail kind of book. Like I said, I haven't read the, the inside of any of these. I just knew that they were new and this one looked really interesting. I didn't have much time, so I uh, know it's kind of romancy uh, from what I glanced at inside. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to start reading this one. And the next one that I picked up is The Host. I did own this one before, um, but it had water damage from uh, when it was stored away in the basement with my other books. Um, just a few of them got damaged and I had to repurchase this one. And I still haven't got around to reading it, but I have so many books. There's a whole shelf over here, and then there's a whole bunch more books in the other room. <laughs> so, uh, if you've read this one, let me know what you think, and if you would recommend it, uh, leave a comment down below. The next book that I pick picked up um, from eBay um, was uh, Susan Kay's Phantom, and I have read some of this. I borrowed it from a friend, uh, my best friend actually. And what I did read of it, it was just phenomenal writing. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I would recommend this book to anyone. It is just heartfelt and it makes you look at people a different way. And it's basically the retelling of uh, Phantom of the Opera that tells, first part tells his story from his mother's perspective and how she mis she really treated him so wrong. And then I assume the second part is um, when he met the love of his life. <laughs> um, and I love this cover. This is the only one that I love. <laughs> it's the, I believe the 1991 uh, cover. I do plan on finishing it and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I have no idea. This is, uh, I hold this book so close to my heart because, um, my best friend has completely read this book and I'm so lucky to have a copy. I hope you check it out or find a copy of it any way you can because it's it's awesome. The next thing I picked up was from TK Maxx and it's this Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm and I believe I only paid 17 euro for it and it's usually 28. Um, I usually try to use suns a lot of sunscreen on my face. You know, taking care of your face is very important and you, you're never too young to start. So uh, I think this was, is in Linen Glow, but it might be in German because I live in Germany. <laughs> um, so that might not even, most of it is in German. But I, I would recommend this one. I have used it. Uh, it does have good coverage, and my face has improved so much uh, already. And I'm able to cover certain blemishes that I don't want to show, and it works really well on my skin. So I do recommend this one to you. Next thing I purchased is from eBay. Um, I did not like to order this from the original site because it is almost $400, <laughs> and I do not have that 
kind of money to spend on this. So I did order it on eBay. It was half of that price, I believe. It, I think it's $3.25 on the original site. And on eBay, I think it was $1.35 or $1.50. Um, but it's the Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum, and it comes in a box like this. And you pull the box, the top, and it comes in this. It's stuck to the bottom, and it comes in a bottle like this. And you take the top. Well, first you put the top to your hand. To make sure all the product is at one side, and you, then you open it up and put it on the back of your hand. Mix the two serums that come out together because it has two different uh, holes. So each chamber has a different medicated formula, and then you mix them together on the back of your hand, and then apply it to your face, your neck and chest area if you'd like to. And so far, I do like it. I have used it a couple of times. Um, not enough to see any change or anything like that, but um, you know, it smells really nice. And like I said, it's never too late to take care of your skin. I am 26, so um, I think that's a very age to start. <laughs> so, uh, and I found this review reviewed on a YouTuber's channel. If I can think of who she is, I'll link her below. And she has a lot of different skincare that she reviews, and um, I really enjoy watching her channel. So, just check her out. Next thing I picked up is these knee pads. Um, I love to dance and uh, my floors do not have carpet and I am also in a pole fitness class and so when we do floor work these will probably be much needed. Yeah, they are really comfortable. I had to try them on to make sure that they were the right size. I have some, a lot of cushion in the front. And they're very comfortable. I think I paid 10 euro for these and you know it's really just something essential for me. Not anything special but definitely much needed. <laughs> the next thing I picked up is these beautiful uh, black workout pants. That have these garter sides and they are by Blue My Fit and I love stuff that's very edgy and I don't know I just I just like people to push the envelope a little and but still stay elegant and um these really do that I mean it's still see through but it's not not trashy or anything like that. So I'm really excited to wear these. If you've uh, purchased anything from Blue Life or any workout gear, please let me know what you think. Uh, I haven't worn these yet and um, I was debating whether to get anything else from their, their store, like clothing wise. And so I just wanted to know what you guys thought of their clothing if any of you have tried it uh, just please let me know so the next thing I picked up were these um, Under Armour hipster uh, workout underwear um, they'll probably be much needed with the Blue Life Fit workout pants um, they don't have seams I believe yeah because panty lines are not okay that's what it says on the back um, and no one, no one likes that with their workout gear. But yeah, I just picked these up to wear with those. Uh, so like I said, it doesn't show anything on the side, but you're still pushing the envelope a little. So, 
I'm trying to square those with with the, those workout bags. The next thing I picked up is the super hot workout bra and workout pants. Um, it kind of reminds me of the pink Power Ranger, <laughs> um, but I've always loved the Power Rangers since I was a kid. Um, it's by Super Hot, but I bought it off of uh, Chili Fit. Dot de, I believe. Here's their top, and it does have a mesh center that you can kind of see through right here. Um, it does have embroidery or like uh, words on the straps here. It says super hot on it. But I really love this top and it has a mesh back, it comes through the center, and it's really gorgeous. They come in these, these um, clear pouches that say super hot on them, uh, which is actually really nice. So these are the pants in the bag, and they say super hot also. They are kind of pricey, but it is wonderful quality. I think I paid hundred and twenty euro for the whole whole set. So you know, still pricey, but not too bad. I mean, if you're getting great quality stuff, blue lemons is you know one piece is is that much. So um, you know, you're still getting your great great quality great quality pieces. Um, so it's, it's your, it's your middle, middle grade or high-end sportswear, I guess. And this one looks like this. It goes all the way down. It's really thick material. Not too thick that it's going to be smothering you or anything. But it's still that workout material that's really firm. Um, and it cuts down, downwards like this in the center, in front, and then in the back it says fear this, and then on the front side it says super hot sports in neon pink right there, you can see that. And I really love these. Um, I almost thought about when, for Halloween, uh, uh, my husband and I were going to dress up as the pink and green ranger just for fun. Uh, if we go to like an adult uh, Halloween party or anything like that. So it'll be super fun. The next thing I picked up is the Outlander series. I cannot wait to watch this. I am still reading the books. Um, I want to get through all of them before I start it, but I still wanted to pick it up, and it is the first and second volume on DVD. I wasn't sure whether to get Blu-ray or um, just the DVDs, because I know you can watch anything on YouTube these days. So uh, please leave me a comment down below if you think the Blu-ray is worth um, the extra spend, or if I still should have just got the DVDs, uh, which I did, but uh, I thought about the Blu-rays, so just, just let me know what you think, and let me know if any of you have read all of the books, because I'm really excited to get through all of them. So thank you everyone for watching my video. I probably seemed a little nervous in this one. I do plan on getting this one up. I've made a couple before and I never, never got around to getting it up and completing the edit or anything like that. So I'm really working hard to get these up for you guys. I do have a job. So if there's not a video one week, um, please be patient with me and I'm trying to make a schedule that works for me. I want to hear from you guys. Leave a link to my social media and everything below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And there will be a part two. So please stick around for the next one. And thank you guys. Bye.